Hey guys, welcome back to the Dollhouse Bill. If you're just joining me, then what I have here is the Sugar Plum by Greenleaf. And I've been showing how I built this kit from the start up until this point. As you can see, I'm pretty much finished with the exterior except for the shingles. I've already started by painting the roof black. But what I'm doing today is using popsicle sticks to make a hardwood floor. So let's get started. Things I used are popsicle sticks, an easy cutter, which I got at Hobby Lobby for about $20, a sanding block, tacky glue, wood stain, and I'm using the color red mahogany, a large plastic bowl from the dollar store, and tongs also from the dollar store. So the first thing I do is use my easy cutter to cut the rounded ends off of the popsicle sticks. Then I pour some wood stain into the bowl. I pour just enough to cover one layer of sticks. I put in a few sticks and use the tongs to make sure they're all coated. I let the sticks sit for a few minutes. The longer they sit, the darker the wood will be. And because I'm doing a few sticks at a time, each batch will be slightly different. The slight variation in color gives the floor a more realistic look. I spread them out in a single layer and leave them overnight to dry. While the sticks are drying, I prep my floor by painting it black. This prevents the light floor from showing through any gaps. Here's how the sticks look when they're dry. Now I can begin applying them to the floor. I like to make sure the entire surface of the stick is coated with glue. This helps prevent warping and make sure all the sticks lay nice and flat. I repeat the process for all the sticks, making sure to press them all firmly against each other. When I get to the end of a row, I alternate long and short sticks. I'm measuring the fit of all the short sticks and then cutting them as I go. When I get to the edge of the floor, I need to measure the width and then cut lengthwise. I apply the glue directly to the floor for these pieces. When all the sticks have been glued down, I lightly sand the floor. After sanding, I check to see if the floor is smooth. Mary Dibbs wants to check too. Now I'm just going over the entire floor with the light coat of wood stain to bring out a nice sheen. Here's a close up that shows the wood grain. And here's a look at the entire floor. Well that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.